What's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and this is another edition of All Aboard. Let's get on this train. Hey look y'all, I just wanted to come in right quick and just say I thank y'all so much for responding to my last video with uh, the issue with Pastor Marvin Winans. I just want to tell everybody I thank you, I love you. Um, I, I look forward to sometimes when we can have meaningful, adult, mature, women, men of God conversation. I love that. Um, I don't know it all, uh, but it's about ironing, sharpening iron. And I thank you all for your honest comments uh, to put something on my mind as well. So with that, again, I thank you and I love you all. I really, truly do. Um, but I wanted to reach out to you all again on another issue. Um, just again, getting your thoughts on some things. You know, when we go through things in life, you know, we, we really want to have the best approach when we're talking to with someone or we're trying to help or minister to someone. Well, I just want to get you all's thoughts on mental health. Um, I, I, I listen to the Tom Jordan Morning Show and, um, they have a segment on there where it says, take a loved one to the doctor. And I know when it comes to people's health, you know, you got HIPAA law regulations and that type of thing. But I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm more concerned about as it's centralized to you, maybe your immediate family. Again, going back to the segment that they do on the Tom Jordan morning show, take a loved one to the doctor. I know in certain communities or certain nationalities, if you will, you know, we shun from going to the doctors. I think now that we're more educated in how important it is to go to the doctor, um, because when we don't and when we go and we find issues, there's stuff that have been laying dormant that we needed to really be uh, focused on as it relates to our health. But again, I'm talking about the mental health. And again, on the Tom Jordan Morning Show, you know, so many times will say, oh, that's just our crazy uncle or our crazy aunt or our crazy grandma or grandpa. And we just let them sit over there and eat toilet paper, you know, and don't pay them any mind because that's just our crazy aunt and uncle. But I, I'm just curious, whenever you recognize something like that going on in your own family, and it don't necessarily have to be that blatant type of mental health issue, again, a bipolar person or somebody sitting over there trying to peel the paint off the wall and eat it. I, I'm not, th those are, you know, psychological problems. We understand that. But what about people in your family that have that mental issue going on when they're real quiet, they don't never talk. And we can say, oh, that's just them, that's just them. Or someone in your family, you, you see that they're a pathological liar. My God, they lie about everything. Unwarranted. They can lie about the littlest thing that really didn't even uh, really need to be told alone. But they just constantly lie. And, they, and not only do they lie, they lie to the point to where whatever they're lying about can, can so easily be find, found out. Not that you're walking around searching and lurking to see if you can get somebody in the line. No, it could be something as simple as, oh girl, I had a good time. I went to New York yesterday. I was in New York all day yesterday. And then you run to your girl, another friend, and they say, oh yeah, girl, I was uh, at work yesterday. Me and and this whatever this person is we were talking about and, and then you say oh you you mean so and so well yeah we were yesterday at work we were talking about this issue and then you you said to yourself well, my goodness she just told me that she was in new york all day and again i'm just making a uh, 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 an analogy as to there are people that lie so bad that what they're lying about Anybody any day of the week can go find out if it's true or not. Or it'll just stumble upon you that it's not true what they told you. So when you begin to recognize that type of stuff, and I know it's a bad behavior, but I'm thinking about, man, that that might be a, a, a issue that they need to go get some help on. That, that seems to be a, a serious issue. So anyway, I'm just putting that out there. It's just some things that you know as as loved ones, as family members that you see. 
And then again, you know, maybe you all can share that. Uh, yeah, you tried to help Uncle Louie and he like to chop your head off with the axe or whatever because you said something about his mental state. So anyway, I'm just curious, have any of you all, uh, not that you got to divulge your business, but what, what do you think about that? Is that something that we need to approach with our loved ones, especially if they're grown folk? And you see them going down a pattern, or you see them going down a road where they're just some some, some things quite ain't right. But we've just been overlooking it because that's you know that's that's, that's just our uncle. That's just our. But do we do an injustice by not at least trying to help them, or just ask the question? You 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 think maybe you want to go talk to somebody, not trying to insult you in any way. But, but on a serious tip, do you feel like you might want to go get some counseling for that? And like I said, I'm not trying to be funny or anything because a lot of times we will. We'll see stuff and we'll wink at it, we'll blink at it, we'll fan it away. But just give me your thoughts on that. There's some things I've been, you know, rattling around in my brain about some certain issues and, uh, I just want to get y'all's feedback on that. You know, where do, where do we stand on that as a family? You know, well, how do we stand? How do we approach those type of things? But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to y'all about today. I'm on my grind. Today is Tuesday. We got four more days to get it done. And we're back at the weekend. But anyway, again, like I said, I love you all so very much. I really do. And may God bless you. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye.